Welcome back and hello to the newcomers. This is the Crypto Angel, the channel where we talk about free crypto multiplying tricks and much more. And all we ask in return is a smash of the like button and the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the new news, tricks and tips that you need to make that free crypto. Straight into it. Today we are going to be destructing the biggest building in Upland, being the skyscraper or the apartment block, whatever you want to call it, literally the biggest NFT you can actually get in the Upland game, we are going to destruct it. And I will explain to you why. A lot of people are going to be telling me that I'm crazy to destruct this because you actually need minimum of 0.4 spark to even think about building one of these. We did actually have all our spark on this project but we actually tried something out today that I would love to share with you because you can actually make free UPX with your Spark instead. And if you make it to the end of the video, we'll do the calculations to see how much we actually make. And I'll show you how to do it and how to make it, guys. So we're actually building on Chrysler Street in New Orleans. So what we'll do is go over to New Orleans, which is in the right-hand side of the map. And yes, this is where we are actually going to destruct our skyscraper, our apartment block. This is where we are going to destruct and completely destruct and um, give up the, the spark hours that we've actually invested already. We did have 0 0.76 spark on this project. We took off a 0 0.36 to test the method out. We found out that it works and we're ready to take off the rest of the spark of this project. So as I said, the minimum amount was 0 0.4. That is exactly how much we left on this project, which we are just about to go and destruct. I don't know if anyone has ever done this in the Upland game. If you have, let me know in the commentary box because I think this is most probably a very rare occasion. What's going to happen? And there's most probably a lot of people out there do not know does not know what actually happens when you actually destruct a building i do not know what even know what happens when you destruct a building so let's go and look for the address it's the address is chrysler street so we're looking for chrysler street we're going to the search bar in the bottom right hand corner and we're writing chrysler street that is our home address we'll click on chrysler street and we should see that we have a blue spot somewhere around here which is our home address so right now we're looking for a blue spot on chrysler street and there should be a tower block on this address and there you go you can see a tab block it's see-through because it's not actually built yet so what we'll do is go and click on it and this is what we want to destruct that's not actually my address you can see that I've actually clicked on the address next door don't get mistaken it's the, actually the blue dark blue and you'll see that I'll come into more here on the right hand side right here and then manage on the left side here and then we'll come into the main page and you'll see there's 0.4 spark left on this project and you have a demolish button right here. We are going to be using this button today. I know that sounds crazy, but what we are going to do is actually rent out our spark. And with this rented spark, we can invest in other people's projects and they will pay you to put your spark on their project. And it's 100% safe. Even if you take your spark off the project, one hour later, you'll still get paid for that hour. I'm actually going to leave the, um, the spark in other people's projects until the end of their projects. I'll show you how this actually works. But first, we will have to pluck up the courage to actually demolish this building. It's actually hurting my heart to do it. As I said, we did have 0 0.76 staked in, and we've had it in there for about, I would say, nearly a month, maybe. Uh, half a month to a month. So it is half a month's worth of spark lost. But in my calculations, which you'll see on the calculator at the end of this video, you'll see that I've worked it out and it does seem pretty good value to use this method that I'm going to be showing you. But as I said, I need to really pluck up the courage to hit that demolish button and we're going to do it this time around, I promise you. So we're going to hit on right more or less here. We're going to hit manage in the bottom left hand corner for the last time and we're actually going to demolish this building. I'm sorry guys, I'm taking time to do it. It's just that I really have a hard time hitting that button because as I know it's all my spark hours are going to be lost. Three, two, one guys, let's do it. It's the last time. I'm not going to mess you around anymore. Click the demolish button. Are you sure you're about to demolish this destruction? I just clicked yes, didn't even think about it, didn't even take time to read, that was pretty scary. I didn't know maybe it could have said that you know you lose your spark or something. I didn't even 
take care. There's just like a little timer glass up here that goes round and it seems nothing else is happening. There's just a timer glass sitting there. So have I got my spark? I don't know. We'll have to go into the main menu and see if our spark has come back into our account. Oh, there you go. Available 0 0.4 and we have 0 0.36 staked in a project already. So what we're going to do now is stake this 0 0.4 that we just took off this project and we're going to take it over and we're going to go and rent it, guys. Yes, I'm serious. We're going to go and rent it and I'm going to show you how easy this method really is. Okay, fasten your seatbelts. We will be using something called UPX Spark Exchange. To sign up, you'll need to use your ID number that you have in the in the Upland Metaverse game. So it's the, na it's the number that's attached to your account. Once you have done that, they will ask you to sell one of your properties at a certain price. And that is just to verify your account. Once you've done that, you can actually take the property off the sale. You can do whatever you want. Once verified, you will be able to do exactly what I'm doing, renting out your Spark or rent out Spark from other players. But what we are going to do is actually rent out our Spark. So what we need to do is go to live listings and see who is asking for Spark. So we have 0 0.4 left to rent out to someone. So we'll go to the list and you'll see a list of all different um, people asking for Spark on this platform. There is a way of listing, and I'll show you how to do that. You come here, remain in Spark. That's how much Spark they're asking for and how much they're paying per hour. The lowest was nine, uh, nine Spark per hour and the highest being 21.85. The time remaining, 13 hours, 23. And he's asking for 3.68 three, uh, 3 Spark in total. So we have 0 0.4, which, which obviously goes to that. It's very good. So what we'll be doing is copying this address... So the owner is Philia125, copying this address at the top here, copy, and we're going to paste it. We're going to go straight over to Upland, paste it into the Upland game, and put our Spark directly onto this project. That's how easy it is, guys. So what we do, look at this, log into Upland. We'll go into the little question bar down here. When I say question bar, I do mean search bar, and we'll paste the address in the top. This will take us straight to the address where the guy is asking for Spark. Time to keep your eyes open. So we need to be looking for a, a construction house on this street. When I mean, this is we have to be careful, you'll get in the right house. Because sometimes there could be two houses next to each other and you could get mixed up with the addresses. So always double check the address on the UPX Exchange platform. So was it this one? Uh, I think it was this Philia guy, but I don't think that's the right address because I cannot see the house popping up yet. So let's go back over to the platform and check the number. So it's 11541. 11545, see? So it's the same owner, but it, he's got another house next door, and that one's being built. And there's actually, let's click on more, and then contribute. And then we'll be able to see there's 13 hours and 22 minutes left on this construction. If we put in our 0 0.4 down here by pressing the plus button, we'll stop at 0 0.4. Tac, 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 stop. Go back twice and 0 0.4. There'll be 12 hours and 34 minutes left on this construction, which means we'll get paid out in 12 hours. Perfect. Good job. We've actually invested. So we'll go back over to UPX Exchange to see if our transaction is actually noticeable on the platform to make sure that we get paid so let's go back over we're going to the main menu at the top uh, right here sorry and we'll go to my rented spark and you'll see normally we have two projects so we have we're earning 16.61 upx every hour with the two projects that we've invested in we have 0 0.36 invested in the first project and 0 0.4 in the project that we just invested in well, just now. So there you go, guys. That's how easy it is to make UPX. And that was the reason why we destructed our apartment building or our skyscraper, whatever you want to call it. Let me know in the commentary. Did you think I made a mistake? Have you started renting Spark? Or do you think it was a good idea? I would love to know, guys. Sharing is caring. And talking about sharing, let's talk about calculations. How much are we going to make? So we've got 16.61 every hour. So what we'll do is go to the calculator 
and we'll put in 16.61, we'll times that by uh, 24, because it's 24 hours in a day, that is 400, times that by 7, because that's a week, and then times that by 4 to get the, the amount of a month. So that is actually making us, per month, 11,000 UPX, which is amazing, because knowing that the actual upland game, if we go into our rent money, and see how much we make, properties, and we're going to see our, we make 7,000 UPX every month in rent with 89 properties. And with only 0 0.76 Spark, we're actually making 11,000. We're actually making more Spark, the more money out of the Spark than we are out of our buildings. Let me know what you think in the commentary. So, peace and love. We'll be speaking to you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Crypto Angel.